Hello, bookish friends of the internet. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew, and this is Drew's Ambitious Reading. And for today's video, I am here to show you all the unread books I have from Book of the Month. If you don't know, Book of the Month is a book subscription box where you can get three books, I believe, per month. Um, you can get one free credit and then two add-ons. So yeah, three. Um, and I am very excited to show you all of these books that I have unread. Some of these are YA, some of these are adults. So let's just jump into these. These are in no particular order. Um, I'm very excited to see if this list have changed or have grown since it I last did this video. I think I did this video back in like 2020. So let's get started, shall we? So the first book I have here to show you is The Beautiful by Renee Audier. This one I had on my shelf for quite a while. So it's like 2019, if you can tell from the back. Um, and I'm keeping this book because my friend Sydney, she is going to be buddy reading this one with me next month. And I'm very excited to see what I will think of this since I did technically DNF this one, but I want to pick it back up and see if I will love it or not. Uh, next book I have is 56 Days by Katherine Ryan Howard. Um, Sydney also read this one. She says that um, it's not a great thriller because she reads more thriller than I do. Um, but I am very nervous for this one to see what I would think of this. I know there's a lot of mixed reviews on here. And I had this on my shelf since July 2021. So very nervous for this one. But hopefully I will love it because it is super short. And you guys know me, I don't really do summaries at all. Um, so, sorry for no summaries, but a lot of these are very popular books, so like, they shouldn't need summary. Um, so we have Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hiller. Um, this is the newest book in the month pick that I own. Um, this came out in July, or actually June of this year. Um, and I haven't got to it yet, and I've been meaning to read it ever since I got it, but I haven't yet. Um, so hopefully I will. I know this one has been getting mixed reviews here on booktube as well. Just thrillers in general has been getting a lot of mixed reviews. So we love that. <laughs> so yeah, sorry, I was stopping for my reading vlog. <laughs> um, but Things We Do in the Dark is an adult thriller that I'm very excited. I think Sydney has this one as well. So Sydney, this is just a video for you. <laughs> um, next one I have is one I might unhaul depending on if I read it this year or not. This has been on my shelf since 2019, and that is Full Disclosures by Cameron Garrett. I believe Cameron Garrett has a new book coming out next year, which I'm kind of more interested in than this one, to be honest. Um, I don't really remember what this one was about, except it's a YA contemporary that's set at a high school uh, with our main character. Oh yeah, who tested um, HIV, HIV positive um but yeah I don't really know too much about this whole book in general <laughs> besides those buzzword well HIV is not a buzzword but setting at a school is definitely a buzzword for me so yeah very intrigued by this don't know if I'll keep it I think it might go bye-bye next year <laughs> Um, next book I have, I'm very excited for this because I just read the author's other book and I really loved it. I give it five stars and that is Reverie by Ryan Lasale. Um, this is another YA book of the month pick when they did YA books back in the day. Um, I got this in December 2019 and I still have not read it yet. Um, I read The Honeys by this author and absolutely loved it. Give it five stars. It was one of my favorite books of the year. Um, if not, well, it's not the favorite, but it's definitely in my, like, top ten. Um, I'm very excited to see what this one's about. Um, I think this has to do with cancer, maybe. And, uh, I don't know, it's LGBT contemporary novel. Um, it says, Rev Reverie is a wildly imagined debut about what happens when the secret world's people hid, in, hid within themselves break free. Oh my gosh, hard to read. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, don't really know too much about this, except I got it from Book of the Month, and it's LGBT contemporary, which we love on this channel. But honestly, I think like everybody else, my mood for uh, YA contemporary, unless it has LGBT in it, has really shifted a whole lot. Um, I noticed that with a few of my 
contemporary books that I've read this year, especially in my wrap ups. Um, so yeah, I might be reading this next year or I might be unhauling it. Uh, next is one that I know uh, my friend Sydney also has. So that is Love and Other Disasters by Antella, Antia Kelly. Um, this is the first book by this author and the author's cover for her second book is so stunning. I'm so excited to read that one, even though I haven't even read this one yet. Um, this is, is a adult romance. Who is he? <laughs> um, it says, there are nothing like a little competition to heat things up. Like, do I need to read more? Because it sounds so good. I got this. This was actually one of my very first book of the month picks for 2022. So I'm very excited to see what this one is about. And I definitely want to save it for June of next year. Um, next one is one of my older ones, and that is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novak. Um, I haven't read Uprooted by this author yet, so I'm going to try and get a copy of Uprooted sometime soon, and then binge read these two. I know you don't have to read these two back to back. I think they can be read as standalones, but I hear nothing but amazing things about this one, especially from Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes. I know she really loved this. Um, so I'm excited to see if I will love this one and it's quite a chunky fantasy book So I'm a little nervous for that, but also very excited. I think this is like a sleeping beauty retelling if I remember correctly um, Yeah, it says It says Naomi Novak opened a brilliant new chapter in an already acclaimed career delving into the magic of fairy tale to craft or love stories that with that was both timeless and utterly of the now. Spinning Silver draws the reader deeper into the glitt glittering realm of fantasy where the boundary between wonder and terror is thinner than a breath and safety can be stolen as a quick as quickly as a kiss. So yeah, I'm very intrigued by this and I cannot wait to see what will happen in this book and to see if I will like it or not. If I don't, then it's gonna be an unhaul pile sometime soon. Uh, next book I have is another old book of the month pick, and that is Gods of Jade and Shadows by Sylvia Marino Garcia. Um, this is a oldie, but a, hopefully a goodie. Um, this cover is just gorgeous. I love these colors on here. Um, I got this back in 2019, so definitely, I think I've been with booked, Book of the Month for quite a while. I think maybe 2019. No, I started... 2019 I think I started 2018 because this one was a July 2018 so yeah I think I started in 2018 with book of the month um anyways I still have a lot of books to go through so gods of jade and shadow is on this list uh next one I have is one that I might unhaul because I'm not in the mood for this one right now and that is When We Were Vikings by Andrew David McDonald. I got this book because it's adult fantasy and it's about Vikings and I don't really see a whole lot of Viking stories in the adult literature section so I'm very curious to see what this will be about. Um, again don't know too much about it it's just an unread book of the month book that I own. Uh, next I have is the Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. This is uh, one that I got as an add-on back in 2018. Um, I got this because it was like very popular back in the day and now it's not so much popular so I'm, ex I'm nervous for this one and intrigued by this one. Um, adult thriller, don't know too much about it and don't really want to know too much about it so there's that. Uh, next I have is Ariane I know I totally butchered that. I am so sorry. This is by Jennifer Saint. Um, if somebody can tell me how to pronounce this, I would love to know down below. Um, it says, sister, lover, traitor, hero. Like, come on. These taglines are amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for this one, though, because it is Greek mythology. And I don't read a whole lot of Greek mythology stories. But when I do, I really love them. So if you have any recommendations for Greek mythology... Uh, please leave them down in the comments below and I would definitely try and check them out. Um, but yeah, this one I had since May of 2021. Uh, the next ones I have are Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reads. 
The Dating Plan by Sarah Dossier. Don't even know why I own this one because I don't even own the rest of the books in this series. So I might really unhaul this one. <laughs> Um, then we have Wicked Fox by Cat Cho. This is the first book in a duology. I know book two is already out, so I can definitely binge read this series. Um, next couple of books. Sorry, I have them all on the floor here. <laughs> um, next one I have, I had since 2020, and that is The Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver. If I don't read it next year, it's definitely going to get unhauled. Then I have Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. I have Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby. The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner, I believe is how you say it. And then I have the most popular book of the month, Andy Weir's Project Hail Mary. I've been hearing nothing but amazing things about this book and I'm very excited to read it. And hopefully I'll love it because I really love The Martian by this author. Uh, next couple of books I have, they're all very different books. So I have A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. Then I have Ash Lords by Scott Rickinson. I have One Italian Summer by Rebecca Ro uh No, <laughs> Rebecca Salier. I almost said Rebecca Ross. I had this since this year. I believe it came out in like May or something like that. And then I have Velvet Was the Night by Sylvia Marino Garcia. I can never say her name fast. My gosh. <laughs> Let me scoop these stacks over. Then the next couple of books I have that are unread from Book of the Month. I have The X-Hex by Erin Sterling. Uh, Fireborn by Rosalia Mundine. You're Invited by Amanda J. Sada. I'm so sorry, I know I'm butchering words. <laughs> Going on with the thriller theme, I have The It Girl by Ruth Greer. Um, the Whisper Man by Alex North. Part of Your World by Abby Jessamine, which is not a thriller. <laughs> and then I have The Love Hypothesis by uh, Allie Hazelwood, obviously. I don't know why I forgot the author's name. Uh, the Maid by Nina Prose. The Inheritance of Orchidea Divian by Zoraida Cordova. The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox, which I'm actually very excited. I kind of forgot I had this book until I was going through my bookshelf. And I was like, oh, I do have another holiday story. So very excited for that. <laughs> um, Half Sick of Shadows by Laura Sebastian. I have The Bad Muslim Discounted by Sadid M. Masan. The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. This chair is so squeaky today. <laughs> uh, the Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. The Night Swim by Emma Megan Golding, not Emma. <laughs> uh, the Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood. The Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkin Hawkins. My bad. <laughs> then I have... Hello Girls by Emily Henry and Brittany Cavaleo. Upgrade by Blake Crouch. My gosh, my words are running into each other. This one I'm reading next month, and that is Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. So sorry about the chair. I don't know why it's so squeaky. Uh, the Kiss Curse by Erin Sternley. The Family Game by Catherine Stenman. Final Girls by Riley Sager. Uh, Yubra Bruna by Nina, Nina LaCour. And then my final three book of the month picks that I have. I have The Maidens by Alex Michaelitis. The Stardust Thief by Chelsea 
Abdullah, I believe is how you say the last, the last name. So sorry for butchering it. Um, and then I have Not a Happy Family by Sherry Lapina. So there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching. I know this is kind of like a weird video to film, but this is one of my book miss videos. So I wanted to show you which of my book of the month books I have unread. I believe that was all my book of the month picks that I own that are unread, obviously. Um, I did. I am going to make it a goal next month to read at least two book of the month picks. That's what I tried to do this year, but I completely failed at it. So I'm going to try and do it again next year. And if some of these older book of the month books don't get read next year, they're most likely going to get unhauled. Um, I have a lot of thrillers, so I might be doing some thriller vlogs here soon. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumb up. Hit that subscribe button, turn your notification on so you don't miss any new videos coming from me. Well, I was going to say every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but it's going to be every single day in December. I'm going to be having a video for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will chat with you guys down in the comments. Bye.